YouTube, what's going on? It's Nika. And I'm Denise. And we're professional singers and songwriters that have been in the industry for 15 plus years. That's right, we've sang with the likes of Coldplay, Anita Baker, Miguel, uh, we've been in the house bands of American Idol the and The Voice. Yes. And we just launched our singing classes on Skillshare. I'm so excited. Are we you so excited? I'm so excited. I'm excited. Oh, please, so come take a sneak peek. Check it out. We're gonna talk a little bit about resonance and intonation. So first, we will start with intonation. We have to understand what it means to sing in tune. Nowadays, there is not only a software that pitch corrects, but it has become a sound in today's music. We love the sound, but we also want you to be equipped to sing with confidence, pitch accuracy, and not rely on electronic manipulation. Intonation is the accuracy of pitch, singing in tune. When you sing a note, there is a number of times per second the air molecules will vibrate back and forth. This is also called frequency. It's important for you to be able to recognize when you are not singing in tune, which is poor intonation. The basic goal for every pitch you sing is to aim dead center of each note. Think of singing right into the center of a bullseye. Anything too high above the bullseye is considered sharp and means you are pushing more air that needs to achieve the proper pitch. Anything too low below the bullseye is considered flat and means you don't have enough airflow to support the proper pitch. We are going to demonstrate singing with proper intonation. The goal is to match the pitch that you hear. Uh, uh. As you can hear, I have matched the pitch that was played by our pianist, Brian. Thank you, Brian. When practicing pitch matching, we suggest that you strive for an accurate onset to each note, which simply means to sing the note without gliding to it. Balance is key. Remember to sing the note right in the bullseye. This is an example of ear training and knowing the importance of listening and matching to the pitch. So what is resonance? It's a process by which sound and tone are intensified when you sing or speak. Your vocal cords vibrate and produce sound waves, which then reverberate in the main resonating areas of your body. These main areas are the nasal cavity, oral cavity, skull, pharynx, larynx, and vocal cords. Having control of your resonance can help to manipulate the tone quality or your voice to be bright or warm or both. It can also increase the volume of your voice without increasing air pressure from your breath. Repeat after me with a low hum and then slowly glide up to a higher frequency. Think to relax your neck. It's almost think of having the back of your throat open. You will feel the vibrations in your pharynx and larynx on the low end. And when gliding higher, you will feel it in your nose and head. These are your resonators. A great warm up to get a feel for your resonators is to place your tongue outside of your mouth in between your top and bottom lip, gently gripping your tongue with your teeth and hum. This helps for you to bring the sound more forward in the mask of your face. Now we're gonna do this while singing, breathing in through our nose in between each exercise. and so on. Make sure you relax your jaw, tongue, and throat with a focus on a feeling of the buzz in your resonating areas. If you wanna feel more vibrations in your nasal cavity, you can gently raise your tongue to the top of your mouth. Continue getting a feel for your resonators and practice your intonation to help you with pitch matching. Hey y'all, thank you for following along with us. If you wanna watch the rest of this class and the classes that we've designed for you, 
please tune in to Skillshare. Please click the link below. Don't you want to learn how to sing? Who doesn't want to sing? All the cool people sing. We sing. We want you to sing. Click the link below. We'll be teaching about belting, falsetto, how to use your voice, how to sing soft, how to things. use a microphone. Come on. It's all fun. Come Don't on. You, you want to learn? You need to be a part of the Cool Kids Club. Click the link below. Come on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.